Welcome back to the Mental Health Minute. I'm Dr. Emily Mayfield, a licensed psychologist. Thank you for watching this video and being a part of the Mindset Therapy family. In today's video, I want to discuss how to deal with someone who has narcissism. I've discussed in other videos the traits of narcissism and ways to respond to a narcissist, but I want to go into a little bit more detail on how you can keep the narcissist from controlling you. I will discuss some techniques you can use and you will be able to use this video in combination with some of my other videos to get more information on how you can be successful in dealing with a narcissist. But first, before we discuss that further, thank you for watching this video and being a part of the Mindset Therapy family. You can follow us on social media for more content related to all things mental health. If you know someone who might enjoy this video, please share it so we can continue to have the Mindset Therapy family grow. As I discuss the narcissist, it is important to remember that the narcissist only looks out for themselves. At all times, they will choose an action that benefits them without concern for those around them. They must protect against narcissistic injury and will be on the defensive if they think that they will be found out for who they really are. The narcissist wants to believe they are superior and all-knowing, but this is an act they put on to protect against their deep-seated feelings of insecurity and low self-esteem. So as I go over ways to keep the narcissist from controlling you, it is important to not spend time trying to figure out the narcissist's next move. You will lose because they don't even know what their next move is. Just focus on enacting these strategies consistently and immediately as a way to maintain control in a situation that can quickly spin out of control. First and foremost, you need to understand in yourself what behaviors you find acceptable and what you do not. This must be defined by you in clear terms before you interact with the narcissist. Otherwise, the narcissist will be able to effectively use their gaslighting to distort your reality. If you don't really know what you are looking for and what you believe, it is much easier to be manipulated through the gaslighting. So, once you know you are interacting with a narcissist, be very clear with yourself on what you find acceptable and what you do not. Once you can define these behaviors, then you can start to set boundaries with the narcissist. Boundary setting must be applied consistently for every instance in which the narcissist crosses a boundary you have set. When you set a boundary, you let the narcissist know what behaviors are not acceptable and you can call them out when they cross this boundary. The moment you stop enforcing this boundary is the moment the narcissist will come in and try to manipulate again. Know your boundaries and hold firm to them. That being said, you must avoid direct confrontation when possible. The narcissist is highly sensitive to criticism because it activates their deep-rooted feelings of shame and exposes them to narcissistic injury. When you set the boundary, you want to only focus on you and what you are looking for while not explaining how the narcissist's behaviors affect you. The narcissist doesn't care. You spending time explaining how the narcissist has hurt you just gives the narcissist more material to work with when they start to use their narcissistic punishment tactics. As you interact with the narcissist, you need to understand that they will push back. They are controlling and demanding and will accept no feedback without resistance. They are the bully that wants to always show you they are in control, even in situations where there is no control differential happening. As you set your boundaries, remember the narcissist will push back and their pushback doesn't mean you have done anything wrong. The narcissist thrives by having people change their behaviors in response to them. Don't let the narcissist do this to you. Hold your boundary even when the narcissist makes it about you as a way to blame shift. As you work to keep the narcissist from controlling you, insist to yourself as well as the narcissist that actions must be shown and not just words. Narcissists are masters of word games and will say things to keep you confused and uncertain. Expect the narcissist to show you actions that allow you to see changes possible and happening and don't just keep falling back on their words. This is where knowing what you need in your life is important as a first step because then you can hold the narcissist accountable if they aren't following through. The narcissist will do whatever they need to put others down to feel better about themselves. They lack empathy and are always on the defensive to protect against that narcissistic injury. Remember to make yourself a priority and don't change your own beliefs and expectations when the narcissist pushes back or makes you the problem. In order to keep the narcissist from controlling you, you must believe in yourself and trust your own decisions or the narcissist will quickly walk all over you. 
Comment below some effective ways you have found to keep the narcissist from controlling you. Also, if you enjoyed the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to be a part of the Mindset Therapy family. To learn more about services that you can receive through Mindset Therapy, check out this link or the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you at the next video.